Good morning, good evening, or good night, wherever in the world you are. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and welcome to your latest forest news and transfer news. Guys, in today's video, we've got a lot to cover off, including a new bid on a defender. We have a player coming in who's going to be loaned straight back out, and I'm going to give you guys what you've been asking for, a Hussam Awar update. And then I'm going to talk about Man United and how they could be extremely key in the next few days about a few future Forest transfers that will excite everyone at the City Ground. Before we start, I just want to thank everyone for your support. We have now hit 5k on YouTube and it's because of you guys. And I just want to thank you sincerely for all the support and the love and the messages you guys have been giving me over the last few weeks. And I will continue pump out the content for you as long as you guys of course want it so before we start if you would with that little uh, sentiment said give the video a quick like subscribe if you are new here we are hopefully still going to be growing as the weeks and months progress and put your notifications on as well so you're alerted on all messages go check the merch store out we've got this lovely in cooper we trust t-shirt as well as some beautiful ones guys i'd love your feedback on our Maranakis top. Let me know what you think about it. The link is in the description below. And finally, don't forget you can become a member now on our silver membership for 99p, which is less than a cup of tea. It gives you all the emojis and we're about to add a Ryan Yates one in there. All the admin done, all the ads done. Let's get on with the news and let's start with this new bid for a defender. As we've been talking about in the last few days, the priority at the moment with Coops is to get a defender into the club. We brought you the story about Regulon, about Tanganga, and about Bolly as well. We mentioned to you, I think it was two or three days ago, that a million pound bid had been rejected for Willy Bolly. It is understood that Forrest will be going back in with a renewed bid at around the two million pound mark to look to secure the services of Willy Bolly. He was actually left out of the Wolf squad. Um, apparently his head wasn't in the right place, but the Wolves manager was saying that he's still ever the professional. How do I feel about this one? I like his experience. I like his, you know, actual defensiveness, if that's such a word. But for me, he's lacking in pace. And we have experience in the likes of Cooper at the back. What we don't have is pace. And I would prefer the Tanganga move from Spurs. However, it looks like with Tanganga, he's probably going to be going to AC Milan, who have joined the race and are now front runners for him. And obviously, with Regulon being the other link, that's more cover for the left side of the defence rather than in the centre. Now, beggars can't be choosers. Um, he's he's available. He's cheap. He's experienced. So if Cooper thinks he's right, and of course in Cooper we do trust, then who am I to argue it? However, I do think there's a couple of other options we could be looking at. The likes of Aloni from Chelsea in Chalaba. I think he's a great, great acquisition and would do really well at Forest. Let me know down below if you agree or disagree with me um, on that one. But it looks ever, ever likely that Willy Bolly will be coming to Forest. Uh, I'm surprised Wolves haven't come out and said they want about 100 mil for him because we know how Wolves play after the whole MG dub fiasco so let me know down below do you want willy bolly there i'm mixed on it if i'm being honest with you guys we do need it we need extra cover at center back but is he that right profile that cooper's been trying to build that young upcoming um team with a mix of experience i don't know let me know Huang Weijou is set to become signing number 17 for Nottingham Forest for a deal in and around 5 million euros, which is about 4.2 million pounds. However, if you think you're going to see him at the city ground, think again, as we will be loaning him straight out to Olympiakos for a year. So we did mention this about three or four weeks ago that this well, it wasn't that long, probably two weeks ago that this deal was going to happen and he was going to be loaned out to Olympiakos. This is now set to be completed probably today or latest tomorrow. Not the most exciting of news. Um, I don't really care too much about it because we ain't going to see him in the Garibaldi, but it is what it is. But as far as news, so I thought I would bring it to you anyway. Are you interested in it? Let me know down below.
All right, so the update you guys are all here for, and it is my boy Hussam Wa, and what the hell is going on with him? I've been inundated with questions about him, so I thought I would give you guys a quick update. Let's start with some good news. This deal is not dead in the water. It's just in hiatus. It's on pause. It's it's not turned into a priority ever since we got Morgan Gibbs White, which was Cooper's number one signing. Hassan was always seen as the understudy, the plan B option to him. However, personal terms are still on the table and still agreed. The sticking point is the fee. The fee that initially was did brought us to deal done on this deal has now been rescinded and Leon want more money for him. Forrest did offer a, just under 10 million euros, so about eight and a half million pounds. Leon want now somewhere in the region of 15 million euros. My worry and my problem with this is that there are now rumours of other clubs being interested. The Crystal Palace rumours have simmered and died down as well. But you've now got the likes of Liverpool and Arsenal who are sniffing around him and making very, very kind of backdoor inquiries into him, especially Liverpool, who are in a mess when it comes to their midfield currently, which I called out back in a video in June. It was obvious to see. So is this dead? No. But it's still in Forrest's hands at the moment before anyone else enters the race. If they were to get on the old blower, give Leon a quick call and offer 15 million euros be it 15 straight up or in add-ons or whatever, he will come to Nottingham Forest. It just doesn't make sense to me. And um, who am I to say that about the way we've done business? Because we've had an outstanding window in terms of transfers. But for me, if you've been talking to Spurs about Regulon and Tanganga in fees and values of 16 to 20 million euros, uh, pounds even, pounds, euros, my God, you've got to, Side what side of the sea we're talking about here. This one just, it, it's a no-risk one. It's an absolute no-risk one. Why? Because he's a quality player. Secondly, the reason he is this cheap is because his contract's running out. He's got a year left on it. So whatever were to happen with this, even if he came to Forest and was a flop, which is impossible, he would then be able to be sold probably for 20 mil, quite comfortably, maybe even 30 mil. Let's imagine he does reach his potential. He goes back to being a 50 to 60 million pound player. But I'm not worried about what he's worth and what he isn't. My biggest like attraction to him is the quality he will provide on the field. Now, a lot of you are saying, well, we've got MG Dub and boy, don't I know it because how badly did I want him? As you guys know, we got Jesse Lingard, etc. But here's my point to you guys. Jesse Lingard is on a one-year deal. He's in his 30s, and it's very unlikely that the contract will be renewed next year. Sam Awar is 24 years old, and he's one for the future, and we're clearly building a squad towards the future, and this guy would be huge for it. Absolutely huge. So, my latest update on this, as I've rambled on, because I'm he's now my new MG dub. This is the guy I want more than anyone. If you agree with me, like the video right now. Stop what you're doing. Hit the like button so I know that I'm not alone on this signing. But here's the deal with it. It's in Forrest's hands if they want him, but they need to act quick. Coops, Marinakis, love you both. If you're listening, if you're watching... Let's get this one done, man. He's too good a player to miss out, and I don't want any regrets from this transfer window. Guys, let me know. Do you still want him? Shout it out in the comments down below. Okay, so a bit of a different ending to the normal videos, and I've got a few things I want to say about the scum that is Manchester United, but how key they will be to our window. And I've spoken about this in a couple of videos, but... What I want to say right now is there are talks, and we'll come on to Gakpo in a second, but there are talks about Man U buying Kevin Buttrap um, in goal. Now, Kevin Buttrap isn't going to go to Man U and want to play second fiddle to uh, De Gea, let alone play second fiddle, third fiddle, should I say, to Henderson. We know Henderson burnt his bridges at Manchester United with his talk sport interview. And what I would like to see and then I would happily sacrifice Awa if it was the Awa money or whatever money it was going to be. Is Forrest go and change that loan deal into a buy deal before he gets too expensive? 
because he is only going to get better and better this season. And the point on that is that he's going to cost us more and more money. So keep an eye on Kevin Buttrap going to Man United. If that happens, it may potentially, and I'm basing this on nothing but my freaking forest goggles on and wanting what's best for the club. And if you agree with me, hit the damn like button. But would you like to see that loan deal converted into a perm deal ASAP rather than waiting till next summer? Now, there's probably some legalities around it. I don't really know how it would work, but we've seen it happen in the past before across the Premier League. So there must be some clauses where Forrest can now go in and bid for Dino Henderson. He's too good to miss out on and he is saving us at the moment. When we're giving away nearly 20 shots a game, and conceding max one or two goals in the game or keeping a clean sheet you know the keeper's doing a hell of a job now moving this on to Gakpo as I've said before and I'll just reiterate it Anthony is edging ever and ever closer to Man United and the deal is getting in and around 95 million euros which is about 80 to 85 million pounds if Man U spend that money the Glazers assholes are gonna pucker up tighter than a damn snare drum and they won't be forking out for him as well. They also have a few other um, kind of rods in the fire that they're looking to do. So if they get Anthony, it's huge for us because Forrest are keen on this guy, as I mentioned in my video a couple of days ago. And what's more important than all of this, forget Manu, forget Forrest and everything, is what does Gakpo want to do? And that will be decided tonight against Rangers. PSV are 2-2 currently in their qualifying game with Rangers as they go into their second leg. Now, if PSV goes through, Gakpo is likely to want to stay due to the pull of Champions League football. However, if they do not qualify, then the Premier League is where he wants to end up. So, I was born in Edinburgh. I can't believe I'm going to say this. Come on, Rangers. Yay. But let me know, guys, do you still want Gakpo? I think most of the Forest fan base do want him. Maybe this is causing the slight delay on Awa as well because we're looking to see if we're going to go for a transfer breaking fee on Gakpo. He's going to cost us about 35 million euros um, or, there, or thereabouts. But let me know down below. Guys, that wraps us up for the news today. I just want to again reiterate my thanks to you guys for your continued support. I hope uh, we continue to provide you the content that you guys want to see. And in the meantime, as always, you know the drill. Hit the like button before you scoot away and enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn those notification bells on. Become a member for 99p. Go and check out the merch store as well. We've had so much added in there. And we will see you later on, actually, for the Prem Predictor League. We need to review that and give away some prizes. So looking forward to that this evening. Thank you guys for watching and we'll catch you. and we'll catch you then. Come on you Reds.